what's up? Welcome back to an exciting episode of Fandom Fights. A uh, bit of uh, build-up before this one. A little hesitation. We weren't sure it was going to happen, but it's happening. Uh, we got a nice team match. teams match for you. Uh, the Saga returns. Uh, is that the name of a Weird Al song? Or is it The Saga Begins? I think it's The Saga Begins. Anyway, The Saga is back. Uh, Nazario and Brandon uh, going up against the second Breakfast Club, Jeff and Alex. Both teams... Uh, lost their initial debut match, uh, came back with a win in their second match, and now they're one and one going up against each other. Should be exciting. Let's see what the teams have to say in the promos. The Twilight Saga has returned! The Twilight Saga needs his name read complete. Do you know the name? I don't remember our name. I forgot to. Like, it's Ascension Part 2 breaking down something. But at least the Twilight Saga. What is this saga shit? Mike, uh, I, I want you to sue him. Fuck saga. Yeah. The fuck? Where the saga, Mike? Yeah, you're gonna get your ass kicked yet again. We already know this. That's... Yeah, well, don't, don't don't tell that to Brandon. He's like excited and shit. I'm not, no, I'm playing oh, Jack. Shit, we got ten seconds left. Oh. Who are we playing? Jack and Alex. Good shit. Let the saga destroy. Fire Fire shit. Yeah, saga, but... my nuts, Nazario. That's my contribution. How are you two doing? I'm doing well. Uh, I'm. I'm actually here. Someone, uh, my partner is a uh, is a black screen right now, but that's okay. He's uh, here. Clarification. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. No. Let's just keep this short. I'm ready to play. Let's uh, try to keep it get, get it going quickly so Alex's internet can last. God, I have a headache. Ah, uh, things happened. If you look through those promos, you can see why we've been waiting for them. <laughs> Uh, can you can you point it out? <laughs> uh, but uh, let's let's see what happens in this match. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. Uh, but we'll start with round number one. Round number one is going to work like this. There's going to be ten questions in the realm of fandom fights. Each player is going to have 15 seconds to write down their answer. At the end of 15 seconds, I'll say pens down. At which point, players will answer individually. Yeah, uh, uh, and say their answer aloud. <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted by things. Each correct answer is worth uh, one point apiece. Should any individual player get all ten questions correct in round number one, they would receive a bonus question. Each team will have three repeats, one challenge for the entirety of the match. Teams, any questions as we get into round number one? Am I the only one who cannot see Alex? Yeah, I have a question. Nope. Um, Let's pause. <laughs> wow, there were no questions. It's the same StreamYard call. <laughs> Nothing weird happened. Uh, so, so we're going to end round one now. Your first question is going to come in the category of Pixar. Your question is, in Coco, it is revealed that Ernesto killed Hector. How? Take a general answer. How specific? I just said we'll take a general answer. If you were listening. But also, I've been told I'm very soft-spoken. Except when I get mad. Five, four, three... Two, one, pens down, we'll go to Jack. Poison. We'll go to Nazario. Bob Poison. We'll go to Alex. Poison. And Brandon. I thought Nazario said big poison. Poison. <laughs> poison is correct. Clean sweep, two to two. Your second question comes in the category of Disney animation. And your question is, which Disney animated film features the main characters playing charades in their castle? Um, I like charades. And just for this question, if you get the right answer, I'll, I'll be like, that's, that's what you do in charades. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, we'll go to Nazario. Frozen, two. We'll go to Alex. I said Frozen? We'll go to Brandon. I said Frozen. And Jack. Frozen 2. Frozen 2 uh, is the correct answer. So Jack Nazario hit that. Still tied 3 all. As we get to the next question, which comes in the category of Marvel. Your question is, what part of Spider-Man's outfit does Electro keep destroying when the two fight in The Amazing Spider-Man 2? Some wild shit has happened this evening. 
to the people shooting next. I'm sorry, we're gonna be looking behind. Four, three, two, one, pens down, we'll go to Alex. Web shooter. We'll go to Brandon. I said it's chest. We'll go to Jack. It's web shooters. And Nazario. Web shooters. Web shooters is correct. Uh, second breakfast club takes the lead at five to four. As we get to the next question, which comes in the category of law and order. Your question is, who directed Rush Hour 2? That was three sequels in a row there. We had Frozen 2, Amazing Spider-Man 2, and now Rush Hour 2. Very crazy. Thank you. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Brandon. Brett Ratner. We'll go to Jack. Brett Ratner. We'll go to Nazario. Brett Ratner. And Alex. Brian Singer. Brett Ratner is correct. Uh, so Saga will tie it up six all uh, as we get to the next question, which comes in the category of Star Wars. In Revenge of the Sith, who helps Yoda escape from the Emperor's Senate chamber after he fails to defeat him? Yeah, that's correct. Good job. She didn't say anything. Five, four, three, two, Repeat. one. All right, that is Second Breakfast Club's first repeat question again. In Revenge of the Sith, who helps Yoda escape from the Emperor's Senate chamber after he fails to defeat him? Um, we're on our second StreamYard call of the evening. It's run late. It's been a wild time. Azario did a cool thing that I don't want to spoil because I don't know if it timelines, but right before this, crazy stuff. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Jack, I think. Bail Organa. We'll go to Nazario. I said Obi Wan. We'll go to Alex. Senator Organa. And uh, Brandon. I said Bail Organa. Bail Organa, Senator Organa, that is correct. Uh, so, uh, Second Breakfast Club will regain the lead. It's 8-7 to seven as we get to the next question, which comes in the category of the Worlds of DC. Which Worlds of DC film features two characters firing a bullet at each other, where one of the bullets destroys the other? Um, now's a good time to mention that there's a thing stuck to my ceiling right above me. And at any moment, it could fall. Is it weird that I wanted to look up when you said that? I, was like, no. <laughs> I did look up. Three, we should all make sure there's nothing. Two, one, hands down, we'll go <laughs> to, I think, Nazario. The Suicide Squad. We'll go to Alex. The Suicide Squad. Brandon. The Suicide Squad. And Jack. The Suicide Squad. Yeah, that's correct. You're all very clever. Well done. All right. <laughs> Your next question comes in the category of horror icons. What is the name of the town in Illinois where Michael killed his sister as a child in the original Halloween? Game. Well, we'll get answers in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Alex. Haddonfield. Hold it up, Alex. Don't don't take it away yet. There we go. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go to Brandon. Yeah, he's right. We'll go to Jack. Haddonfield. And Nazario. Haddonfield. Haddonfield is correct. Uh, Second Breakfast Club widening the lead. It's 12 to 10 as we get to the next question, which comes in the category of the MCU. In Avengers Endgame, who stays on call longer with Natasha to tell her about Barton's latest attack? Good 
answers. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with, I don't know, Brandon. Oh, no, I just thought it. Uh, Koye. We'll go to uh, Jack. War Machine. We'll go to Nazario. War Machine slash Rody. We'll go to Alex. Rody. Rody, War Machine is correct. Um, so, well, we got 14 to 11 as we move to the penultimate question, which comes in the category of sci fi icons. Your question is Who plays Agent Smith in The Matrix? Believe uh, not to jinx anything, but uh, one person on this call is. Really How specific? What? Answer <laughs> 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 is in five, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Jack. Hugo Weaving. We'll go to Nazario. Hugo Weaving. We'll go to Alex. You go weaving. And uh, Brandon. My brain doesn't work, so I put Jonathan Groff, and then maybe we can argue about it. That's fair. Close. But <laughs> um, you go weaving is correct. Uh, with that, Jack Pinchuk is nine for nine. Should he hit this next question, that would be a perfect round. Uh, your final question comes in the category of James Bond. And your question is, which Brosnan-era Bond girl is a nuclear physicist? And we only need first name, but it should be played. We do it first and last. Wait. Yep. I'm just going to wing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I just didn't know if it was character or actress, but I'm not wasting a repeat. I took a <laughs> shot. Okay. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one pens down for suspense. Oh, and because this is where we would start anyway, let's go to Nazari. Christmas Jones. We'll go to Alex. Christmas. We'll go to Brandon. Oh, did, did it say after? I put Halle Berry. <laughs> <laughs> and for the perfect round, Jay. I thought Christmas only came once a year, Christmas Jones. God, I want to take it away from you just for saying <laughs> that, but... That is correct. Jack Pinchuk hits a perfect round. Uh, Jack, you will get a bonus question asked to you, only to you. Are you prepared? You will not need your sure. weapon. Great. You will have a little bit of extra time for this. Uh, your question is, name two fandom film where someone falls from a great height only to land safely in a pool of water. Skyfall and Lethal Weapon 2. That is correct. Uh, for the bonus play, for the perfect round, Jack hits it, uh, gets the second breakfast, scores up uh, to 19. Uh, big scoring round, uh, followed by the Saga with 13. Uh, so, anything can happen, though, as we get into round number two. Here's how round number two is going to work. It is the wheel round. We have a wheel with eight fandom categories on it, as well as spinners and opponents' choice. Each team will get a spin at the wheel. If they like what they spin the first time, they can keep it. If not, they can choose to spin again, but they will be forced to keep what they spin the second time. You will get five questions in the chosen category, each worth two points apiece, unless you like to check down a multiple choice, in which case it will only be worth one. And be on the lookout, as stealing is available in round number two. Your categories on the wheel today are YA, American Spies, Worlds of DC, Scores and Soundtracks, Middle Earth, Pixar, Disney Animation, and The Wizarding World. That being said, Second Breakfast Club, you are in the lead. Would you like to spin first or defer? Now, I know normally we would defer, but this yeah. is a great wheel for us. And do we just want to put the pressure on? I think I'll better like, minimize getting a bad category. Yeah, let's do it. So, you're spinning? Yeah, yes. spinning first. Spinning okay. first. All right, this will be your first spin. It's on American Spies. So to keep it or spin again. Do I want with that or do you want to gamble a little bit? I'm fine with it. If Alex wants to spin again, we can, but I'm totally cool with this if, if you want. I don't want to spin again. Cool. We'll do it. All right. Support y'all. This will be your second spin. And it's right. on YA. Perfect Good job. Take your time. Ride your 15 if you need it. Cool. All right. 
Uh, Second Breakfast Club, I'll be giving you your questions in the category of YA, something of which I believe you both are. Um, are you prepared? Sure. Sure. All right, your first question. Which YA film features a final fight in an old ballet studio? Twilight. Twilight. Final answer. That is correct. Two points. Your second question. Who plays Hunger Games' victor, Joanna Mason, in the Hunger Games series? Jenna Malone? Yeah. Jenna Malone, final answer. That is correct for two points. Your third question. What is the name of Marcus's car that Jorge takes from him in the Scorch Trials? Glad I met you, this. Bertha. Hit Bertha, it. Fine. That is correct for two points. Your penultimate question. In Allegiant, how does Peter stop Evelyn from letting foreign Triss into the chamber to stop the gas from getting out? This movie remember. is just in one year, out the other. I can probably yeah. remember a multiple choice. So you want to go? Let's do it. Yeah. Please. All right, your multiple choice options are, is it A, traps her in a closet, B, makes her breathe the gas, C, shoots her in the leg, or D, breaks the door controls? D, I think, is probably the most reasonable answer. Sure. D, final answer. That is incorrect. Saga chance for a one-point steal. Your options again are A, traps her in a closet, B, makes her breathe the gas, C, shoots her in the leg, or D, breaks the door controls? I have no idea. I have no idea. So what would be? I mean, the, there's a mm -hmm. gas and there's a gun. What mm -hmm. is the A or C? Shoots her? Or... Yeah, fuck it. Shoot her. Let's go with shoot her. Three. Shoot her. Final answer. C. That is correct for a one point. Yeah! Knew it all along. <laughs> I didn't even hear the question. <laughs> all right. And uh, second breakfast club, your final question. <laughs> After the initial bloodbath, what type of weapon does Kato pick up and use for the beginning of the games in the Hunger Games? A sword. Sword. Yeah. Yeah. Sword. Final answer. That is correct for two more points in the end of Second Breakfast Club round uh, two. They get their score up to 27 with that steal. The saga is at 14. Uh, so we will bring in Mr. Hanley and the wheel. Brandon and Azario, this will be your first spin. Oh, don't fuck this up. Wait, wait, wait. I have a question. We have another yeah. match after this. What, what is a, a black and white Versa thing? I don't know what they are advertising. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Out right. of curiosity. Yes. We have... 13 points. Yep. This so, is true. Is, they can get... They get to go can, They can, can get, get up to... Yeah. We can get 10. Okay. Yeah, we, they can get 10. Yeah. Uh, uh, or not. Uh, wait, wait I, I did math wrong. I did math wrong. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. Leave me alone. I'm not teacher, and it's possible. Right. I just hope Tim cuts that out, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Keep Please don't. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Oh, you're, you're right. Yet. It's all good. All right. Saga, I'll be giving you your questions in the category of Disney animation. Are you prepared? Yes. Uh, sure. All right. Your first question. My saga is ready. <laughs> the saga is ready to answer questions. I'm there so we happy. go. We need All that. Right. Your first question. Which Disney animated film features a horse named Buck and a rabbit named Lucky Jack? Uh, that is uh, fucking Home on the Ranch, man. Yeah. The saga selects... Home on the range. Final answer. That is correct for two points. Your second question. Who voices the merchant who does the opening narration for the film Aladdin? Robin Williams. Yeah. The saga selects Robin Williams. Final answer. That is correct for two points. Your third question. What is the name of Captain Hook's first mate in Peter Pan? Smee. You go this time. The saga selects Smee. Final answer. <laughs> That's correct. Two points. Your penultimate question. Since he has no money, 
What does Mr. Toad offer to trade to the weasels in exchange for the car in the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad? Toad Hall. Yes, I've, I've ridden the ride a bunch of times. I haven't seen the movie. Toad Hall. The saga selects Toad Hall. Final answer. That's correct for two points. And your final question. What type of anthropomorphic object is Pedro in Saludos Amigos? You know this. Come on. I don't know this. It's an airplane, man. Airplane? Yes. Go. The Saga Selects Airplane. Final answer. That is correct. For two more points and a clean sweep of Disney animation. So, so wait, wait. Are we knocked wait, out? Is it over? You're not knocked out. No, it's still going. All right. <laughs> I said I'm sorry. <laughs> Second breakfast club is at 27. The Saga gets their score up to 24. We have a three-point game. Uh, going into, yeah, three points. I can do math. Going into round number three. Here's our round number three is going to work. It is the betting round. We have five more questions in the realm of fan of fights. Once the teams hear the category, they can select who will take the question. The other person will have to take question two. Teams can, can, can uh, re, reconfer. I, that word, whatever that word is, just left my head. Uh, you can switch it up. Do it again on, on three and four uh, and confer on the fifth and final question. Uh, once you hear the category, you can bet anywhere between zero and two points on the question. If you get the question correct, you'll gain those points. If you get the question incorrect, you will lose those points. We will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or we have reached the end of the match. Teams, any questions uh, as we get into round number three? All right. Then the first category you can bet points on is scores and soundtracks. Holy fuck. Let's get bets, starting with Second Breakfast Club. I'll take it for zero. All right. And the saga. I'm looking for one. All right. Your question is scores and soundtracks. Harry Gregson Williams composed the score for which film in the X-Men universe? Since the, uh, since the, uh, you know, um, what do you, what, why are you doing that? Spence. From who? What are you? I can see all their hands. What are you talking about? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Alex. Who bets zero? New Mutants. And Brandon. I said Logan. Both, unfortunately, incorrect. We're looking for X Men Origins Wolverine. Everybody's favorite. What a memorable score. Uh, with that. The Saga will lose one point. Second Breakfast Club will stay right where they are. It's now a four-point game, 22 to 18. Oh, so close. Um, as we get to the next category that Jack and Azari are going to be just so happy to take, it's fandom quotes. Let's get bets, starting with Nazario. I can do better later. And Jack. Zero. Hey, stats only. I might as well just not even write the quotes question. Up. All right. Your question in Phantom Quote. Can't wait for you both to get this. Which Batman villain said the quote, I'm just an instrument here to unmask the truth about this cesspool we call a city? No. Stop making. No. Every time you suggest something, I'm going to do the opposite, Spence. Now every category is Phantom Quotes. So how do you like that? Answers in. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Jack, because why not? Riddler. And Nazario. Bane? Riddler is correct, but neither of you bet shit. So we're going to stay right where we are. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give you both five more points from what I said last time. So now the score is 27 to 23. Uh, Four-point game. As we get to the next category, you can reset who takes Reset, that's the word I couldn't think of. Uh, you can reset who takes it. The category is Law and Order. Let's get Matt starting with the second Breakfast Club. Who will be taking it for how much? I'll take it for one point. And the Saga. To give her zero. I thought that All right, zero. here's the sitch. Uh, Jack hits, game over. Jack misses, game on. Your question in Law and Order. At the end of Lethal Weapon, 
Mr. Joshua and another henchman have Riggs tied up and begin to torture him by doing what? Somewhat general. Watching the end of How I Met Your Mother right now. Calls me up every time. I don't care what people say about the final season. I like it. I'm sorry, are you answering? You're not. I know. Oh, okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Brandon. Burning him. And Jack. Shocking him. And your winners. Second, Breakfast Club, shocking him, electrocuting him, uh, is the correct answer. That is what we were looking for. Uh, and that will put the game just out of reach for the saga. Uh, great match, great performance uh, from the Second Breakfast Club and the saga. Honestly, like, I don't think there's much they could have done because Second Breakfast Club was just on a hot streak. But this is one of the best games I think the saga has played. Uh, it's just unfortunate that on the other side of it, the, that team just decided not to miss today. Uh, good stuff. Uh, all around, let's get into some post-match interviews. We'll start by talking to our unfortunate second-place finishers. The Saga did not win today, uh, but that's okay. Because, like I said, I think this is the best you guys have played. You've out, you're showing that with each match, you get a little bit better and a little bit better, even if you didn't come out with a win today, because your opponent decided to just not miss anything. Is basically yeah. the reason why you lost. Um how are you feeling about the match? Uh, do you take any positives away from it? I think uh, it's clear that we know fucking cartoons. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I would agree. Uh, More also, I, I, I think it's what you said. Like, with it solid on round one. Uh, I, that, I like, should bet on a few questions I should have had. Yeah, well, stop doing that then. I know. But, sure. like, other than that, like, we were solid throughout the match, I think. Uh I actually was thinking Riddler versus I didn't bet anything. I was like, ah, maybe it's Bane. Probably if I, if I had put something in that one, I would have kept Riddler for, because it was from the Batman, right? It was not fucking yeah. Jim Carrey. It was yeah, the, I was yeah. taking from the Batman. It was probably yeah. That, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we did an effort. Uh, we didn't, we were able to beat in the internet of Alex today. But don't worry because the Twilight Saga will return. Fuck the saga. Oh, sad. What do you uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to see it. Uh, the Fire our shit. Is, we will Fire see shit. Return in the fall tournament. We will see you there. It's going to be an exciting time. Uh, congratulations on the match. Well played as we bring in your winners today. Second the Twilight Saga so loses again. Oh my god. Okay. Um, you missed as a team two questions, three questions maybe. I think Two Alex questions. missed three missed questions. Matter. You missed one in round three, but doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it matters. You missed it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna mark it down that you didn't get it correct. These two fucking killed it today. Proud. Agreed. Jack. Perfect round. Not your first. Not your first, right? No. No, because you've had a perfect game. So yeah. No, not your first. Um. Incredible performance, and then even right behind you, Alex is still outscoring most other people today. Despite the the lead up to this match, where it almost make it, made it not happen. Um, you guys played great today. I think the saga played very good as well. I just I don't think it would have really mattered who was across from you because it, it seemed like you guys weren't losing today. Is there truth in that? Yep. I mean, I mean, look, <laughs> the saga played really well today. Uh, had this been uh, had we started in Alex's internet cut out and it had to be handicap match this. Probably, like, like I, I, Alex put up big points in round one, so that that would have put a huge dent in the score. So, like, whatever. But and no, it, it we Alex played really well today. I'm proud to have him as a partner on, on my team. And uh, yeah, so uh, look, I'm just I, it's been a long day. I can't do math, and I'm just ready to ready to go to bed. I feel you, Alex. We almost you, you almost didn't make it today, but here you are putting up. I'm the in. biggest. I'm the biggest headache. I get stressed out with with the freaking internet connection. Spectrum needs to get it together. I don't know what they've got going on, uh, but their their network is run by idiots. Uh, big shout out to my roommate Matthew for letting me borrow his laptop that does work on this internet 
No idea why mine doesn't. It's newer. Um, uh, Brandon, I think his name is. We didn't really introduce each uh, ourselves to each other. Uh, he needs to join a hotter faction because uh, the whole Nazario thing isn't working for him. Uh, Spence, thanks for popping in. Not sure what. I uh, love the hair, and I, like uh, I apologize to ev I apologize to the editor, Tim. I apologize. Thank you. <laughs> Great, um, guys. Like I said, great stuff. Uh, Spence, I'll get your thoughts on my next question since we're going to wrap some some things up here. My next question is in regards to what comes next. Uh, you guys, one, you're in this little title picture that we haven't quite announced in in real life yet, but by the time this releases, it will have been announced. So you're in, you're in a bit of a title picture here, uh, which means you'll have another match very soon. That match will be against Young Justice. Fuck well, uh, me. Holtzman and Hobby. Uh, if you play like you did today, I think uh, you have a really good shot. Do you agree? I mean, you look. That, it's a, really? You're doing this? <laughs> look, look, well, look. Considering look. this is now September. Cameron, no. <laughs> Cameron Holtzman is a gem. And I love him, but fuck if I hate playing him in trivia. Uh, I played him once in singles and fandom already, lost that match. But you know what? Oh, I, I guess I, I, I guess I did play him in teams too, and I beat him there. And uh, me and Matthew were the reason that uh, Lights Camera and Action retired. So you know, maybe, maybe it can happen again. Uh, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens, I guess. According to the Kingsman Hunky Boy ranking, these two teams are about equal, so I'm expecting like a very far, like this could go to sudden death, honestly. Well, I don't know what the Kingsman is, but um, everyone, <laughs> great job in the match today, uh, and I'd just like to thank our sponsor, Spectrum Internet. Um, you've been great. Thank you. I thought that one was funny. Uh, thank you to everyone. Thank you to both the teams. Thank you to the Saga. Thank you to the Second Breakfast Club. Spence, Mike here for managing. Uh, thank you to Tim for editing this one. Uh, and thank you to all of you for checking out the match. Be sure to check out all the other matches going on. It's going to be a great time, and we'll see you next time with another exciting episode of Fandom Fights. <laughs>